This video is sponsored by bootcamp.com. Check it out for INBDE prep and use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here coming to you from the beautiful Carolina woods. And today's topic is going to be, should you take the INBDE on consecutive days or not? Guys, if you like the content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. So the INBDE is two days long, and that's why I always say it's a marathon and not a sprint. But unlike a marathon, you don't have to run the whole thing at one time. You can take the exam on two consecutive days, one right after the next, but after day one of the exam, you do have up to one full week to take the second day. Some candidates prefer to take the two days consecutively, while others choose to have a few rest days between the two exam dates. So the question becomes, which is the better option? And the answer is really up to you and your situation. So. If you're the type of person who likes to get things done and out of the way, and you feel like you're really prepared to take this exam, then I would recommend take them consecutively. Knock it out on one weekend and be done with it and put it in your rear view mirror. But if you're the type of person who likes to spread things out, you break big tasks into smaller tasks, and maybe the thought of doing 500 questions one day after the next is overwhelming, then I'd recommend take a few rest days between, especially if you feel like you're not as well prepared as you want to be, those few days between day one and day two could give you some extra buffer room to review your weak areas or your blind spots. And this leads to another common question that I get all the time what should I do to study for day two of the exam? So let's cover that too. Well, first of all, just remember, all of the same content is fair game. Day one and day two test all of the same topics. It's just that you're getting asked 140 questions instead of 360, and all of those 140 questions of day two are going to be case sets where you're getting a set of three to six questions for one patient. So you get one patient box, radiographs, clinical photographs, periodontal charts, and then expect the next group of questions to be concerning those records. And if I were you, I would tend to review oral pathology, pharmacology, and oral medicine. Those are really the heavy hitters in terms of clinical diagnosis and treatment planning questions are concerned. As far as difficulty, relative to day one, some people have an easier day two, others have a more challenging day two. And I made a video on this not too long ago. Every exam is different and the scoring is standardized based on your difficulty. So don't worry too much about that. That's not too much of a concern. So all in all, it really depends on the type of person you are and how well prepared you are to take the exam. Guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the beautiful Carolina woods. This is Dr. Ryan, and until next time, take a few rest days, and I'll see you in the next video. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to this channel for much more on dentistry. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page. And thank you to all of my patrons for their support. You can unlock access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions for the board exams. So go check that out. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.